I just, yan na lang po. I just found this bakery nearby. Prices are outrageously cheap. I'm going crazy. This, I got that. Banana loaf. I got everything going on. Got to get the bar heads fed. Okay, bar heads. For all you guys in the West complaining about electric and electricity, look at this fucking wired mess. Look at that mess. Try working on that mess. So right now I'm in the town of Talisay, and it's a town nearby, small town, but I think I could get pretty much everything over here. And if not, I go to the bigger town and diet. Um, this is what I had dreamed before when I had other properties is to start a feed shop because it was so strong. Everybody here um, needs feed. But from what I gather, the, uh, the profit on feeds is it's not that good, especially if you're just an agent. You really got to have your own place. You got to get a good discount from the, um, the feed supplier. Otherwise, you're screwed. Uh, the other place that I discovered here in the little town, this is great about little towns. Uh, this place here that says Resto Avenue, it's got some great food. Got pizza there the other night, pancit, really good stuff. So, and of course, you got the local beauties. They're everywhere, so that's always a plus. Okay guys, Barhead's gonna sign out just for now. Then I got I'll probably come back on when I'm on the uh, when I'm on the farm. I gotta check in on the guys, bring them their uh, snack. You know, I gotta take care of the boys. Always gotta take care of your crew. Hopefully they'll take care of me. And for you bastards that are always complaining the portions are too small, check this out. That is the portion per piece of Egg roll. And that's the size of my pinky. So, no more complaining about size of food or portions of you food. Everybody out in the West and in Europe, maybe not in Europe as much, but we all eat a hell of a lot compared to other people. Look at these little, look at these little plates that they have. See, they're tiny. Mustafa, good morning. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's a poor country. And uh, just thank the Lord that we have plenty to eat. And sometimes we have to give it back to them. Uh, you know, we have to give it back to other people. So now we are at the burp box. <laughs> burp box. And the hunger burp now. These little canteens, you know, people make a decent living. It allows them to keep going. Pandemic, it's crazy shit. There's no money here. So they do the best they can with anything they can. Well, I just bought some snacks for the guys. Let me get this right. I bought some snacks for the guys. Um, they're done eating uh, their snack before lunch. And you can tell how hard they've been working. So all this, they mostly felled, I think, today. I had to do some, some running around in town. So I wasn't here when they tested out the chainsaw, but everybody's happy with it. Um, we had one large, we had one large, um, tree that had fallen it was blocking the path so that's the first thing they tried it on and they cut it in four pieces so chainsaw is working well father is very happy about it and then the guys have decided they're gonna go ahead and clear this back area more so that's where they're that's where i'm headed just to see what's going on but um Day four, um, they seem to like working in this weather better. You know, the sun is not on top of them so much. So it's a little bit cooler. Um, 
This foreigner can't tell the damn difference. It's still humid as anything. <laughs> Plus I'm coming from, you know, 32 degrees Fahrenheit with uh, three and a half feet of snow when I left. So they're happy, I'm happy. They're gonna probably tackle this too. This bamboo started to lean over. I think there was a big storm that passed about a month ago. So they're gonna clear that up. Like I said before, we're gonna keep a lot of the bamboo uh, clumps simply because we're gonna, we're gonna need building material. And if the building material is already here, you know, why am I gonna spend more money for it? No need to do that. So they seem to like to use the chainsaw just for the main cut. Um, and then as they, you know, as it's fallen, they'll go ahead and use the, uh, their, uh, their knives. Um, I, I don't want to get involved in how they want to do it. You know, I'm just here to make sure that it gets done. You know, sometimes you can get way too involved with them and be a micromanager. And I find that sometimes that could be insulting to somebody, especially if they're working for you and they're a little bit older. You know, you have to mind your manners. You, you just can't dictate everything and, um, you know, to your wishes. As long as it gets done for me in a timely manner, you know, that's what I'm looking for. And these guys are doing a bang up job. So I can't complain. I'm not complaining. Um, I'm going to just check them out. A lot of them are working injured. Uh, both boys are working injured. One uh, went to get some bread the other day and uh, on a blind curve lost control of the motorcycle and flipped it. So he's got his knees fucked up. But he's working. There he is in the blue. He's whacking and whacking away. You know? And then the other guy, RJ, he's amazing. Um, he had gotten injured when he chopped uh, a banana, uh, uh, a very tall bamboo on the first day. And that bamboo, the way it was chopped, is very sharp because it's chopped on an angle. That bamboo uh, came off where the, 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 the trunk was and all that weight on a sharp end dropped on his foot. So. He worked all day with it like that, bleeding everywhere, you know, he didn't want to quit, he didn't want to quit. So, and of course, our guy here, that's father, uh, we affectionately call him father, he's going to be the guy that's going to be living here. Uh, I've decided I'm going to take him on as the caretaker. I feel like, you know, somebody older, you know, yes, um, they might be a little bit slower, um, but I'd rather have that and have the experience and also he knows how to operate the chainsaw. Um, he knows the ins and outs of, you know, um, what to do out here because it's, it's a jungle out here. You got, you got no electricity, you got no TV, you don't have fucking amenities. This is not a spa. Um, you know, we're, we're carving it out of 20 years of neglect. So he knows, I think he's going to be good for this place. Um, he's going to, it's going to be, you know, I, an older guy isn't going to be chasing skirts um, all day. Maybe. Maybe he'll chase one skirt. Who knows? But my, my thing is, he, hopefully he'll stay in the farm. He'll guard the farm because, you know, people here, they don't respect the fence. You know, we, we've, we've already found stuff that's been cut and uprooted. Anything that can be eaten, anything ornamental here that can be sold. You know, I saw three girls uh, just walk in. We were clearing. They didn't ask permission. They just went in. They started taking ornamental stuff. And I found out later that they were going to sell it. I thought they were going to eat it. Originally, I thought they were looking for, you know, rooted plants. Um, and I thought they were going to eat it. And so I said, you know what? Everybody's starving here. There's no work. Uh, let it, leave them alone. Apparently, they were looking for orna ornamental plants that grow here on the property wild. They can sell it for 70, 80, 100 pesos per. A lot of money here. 
in any case, boys are working hard, and I'll check in on them in a little bit. My buddy. Here's my buddy from a long time ago come to visit. Ah. Go say hi to him. He's a good guy. That's Jesse. Jesse, my buddy. Jesse! Jesse is kind of semi famous here for conditioning. Uh, chickens for when they go into the pit. So he's the guy. A shine to this crippled old dog that's now coming around the camp because we're cleaning. So they've been giving him food. Poor thing. Or I guess we have a mascot. We're chasing more paperwork. So I'm here at my, uh, where my niece is at her school. Okay, so I've been running around a couple of shops trying to find some used oil. Apparently, that's what they use for the chainsaw here for lubrication. So this is the third shop that I've run into. They sell used oil here, where us in the U.S. we just we give it to AutoZone to recycle for free. Nothing here is thrown away. Everything is reused. Um, pretty. This is not as busy as the other mechanic shop. Okay, and Vero. So what do you do at 5 o'clock?